What's up everybody, it's Ennis here. Today we're in West Hollywood and we're going to check out the property right behind me. It's 9019 Elevado Avenue, four bedrooms, four baths, two half baths, and it is listed for $5,250,000. Let's go check it out. So we are in the front of the property. We have a smooth stucco finish throughout. We have wood cladding, wood beams, and we actually have a really nice floating carport right here, which is a nice modern detail. And right next to that, we have a one car garage for the property. One cool detail that I really like is this olive tree right here. Instead of building a retaining wall and filling this with the soil, they kind of left it open to kind of make the space feel more free, yet they elevated to accommodate that tree. It's a nice cool touch. And as we go through this gate, we have a nice little seating area before we go through the front door, which is really nice. You have recess lighting throughout, and if you guys are picking it up from the entrance and here, we have security cameras throughout the entire property. Now, let's go inside and take a look at the first floor. So they have a glass door which leads you into the property and now we're in this hallway. So the stairs go basement level and the upstairs to the bedrooms. On that side we have the one car garage and if you follow this hallway you have your living room area and the kitchen and then through those glass doors you have an incredible backyard space. As we go through the hallway, we can see all these glasses bring in a lot of natural light, starting with this one. This is actually the outdoor dining area, which we'll get in a minute. And we have glass on the other side where the stairs are, just bringing all this natural light to the property. Then I'm gonna start with the kitchen. We have a Taj Mahal quartzite island design right here with the bar seating. It's actually a really good size island. And instead of going for white gloss finishes, they actually ended up going for more of a satin finish on the cabinetry, which I honestly like more. Then you have your built-in appliances right here. Of course, you have your Miele fridge. And then you have your built-in appliances here, some pantry space, because everybody needs that. And of course, the Uni Hopper Lazy Susans. These are my favorite. We saw these at uh, one of Jennifer's other properties and it was the first time I'd seen them. I really like these. I mean, like talking about quality finishes and hardware, this is the pinnacle right here. Then the same quartzite also continues on this base cabinetry here. Your recessed built-in melee gas cooktop. So we have a sleek vent design right here. And actually another detail I wanna point out is cabinetry is not finished all the way to the ceiling. And if you look up, there's a nice little window detail that also brings additional natural light to the space. And now, right next to the island, right next to the kitchen, we have these doors that pockets, opens up to your outdoor dining area, which is a really cool space. It's very cozy, very private, and actually gets a really good amount of light too. Where does that, uh, where does that gate go behind you? Actually, this access is to the uh, carport, and the reason they left the gate like this is so that if you have gardeners or people to maintain your property, they can simply access from here. And before we leave this space, I actually wanna talk about this detail right here. Mikey, do you know what it is? I am going to guess, since we've toured a few of Jennifer's properties in the past, this is gonna be a skylight for a massive basement. That is actually true. So any way you can bring more natural light, the better. This is actually a really unique touch. I really like it, the way they sealed it. And yeah, this is basically almost the center of the basement down below us. So this is bringing a lot of natural light. Living room, so it's right next to the kitchen. It's really good size. All that glass brings natural light. So one side of it opens up to the backyard, which we're gonna get in a minute. I wanna talk about this detail. So they have a staircase going down to the basement and upstairs. When you tend to close these stairs, you actually make the space feel much smaller. But when you can do a modern steel design like this, where it's open and airy, 
it makes your general space field much more spacious. That's why a lot of these uh, smaller moderns have glass uh, railings, right? Exactly, either glass or some sort of a metal railing so they don't have to fill the space in between. Now let's take a look at the backyard. We have these, of course, Fleetwood pocketing doors here too because it's LA and weather is amazing here all the time. Gotta have those Fleetwoods. You gotta. So now that we're on the backyard, it's, the entire backyard is actually paved either with concrete or gravel just so they can maximize the space. Then we have a nice outdoor seating area right here. It's covered, built-in speakers, lights throughout. And if you follow me this way actually, kind of the backyard area continues. They have another additional kind of seating area here and the basement access from here because they do have a bedroom on the basement, which we'll get in a minute. So that's a, that's a staircase that leads down to the base or a ladder that leads down ladder. to the basement, yeah? Exactly. So now I wanna talk about this pool design. Mikey, are we used to seeing pools like this? We are not. And let me come around the back of you just so these people can see what we're talking about. It's a little different. So let me explain to you guys a little bit. There's a couple reasons why they ended up going for a direction like this. Number one, it could be as simple as they didn't want to dig into the ground and they wanted to utilize by building an above pole to get the height that they needed. Number two, making a statement piece. This is a little different. You're not used to seeing pools that are above the ground for the most part. Number three, when you do have a tight backyard, when you build the pool right into the ground, most people won't come close to the edge of the pool because they will feel like they're gonna fall into it. They won't utilize this space right here, the, the three feet within the pool. But if you build an above pool, people tend to get much closer and feel comfortable with it. So I believe combination of all the reasons that I just mentioned, they decided to go with this direction and it's actually a really cool pool. So of course, every good pool comes with one of these and this actually has a really cool water feature. Check it out. So we just turned it on and why don't you come over this side, Mikey? Because it's gonna create, if you can look right here, the spillaway effect right here, which it starts, which it just did, and it will actually build up and you will see a much more significant water flow right here in a minute. And while we're seeing that, actually they did a really cool plaster design, natural stone throughout the coping and the entire pool. It's a nice little peaceful setup right here. Yeah, it's really, really tranquil back here. It really is, Mikey. Now, you have a proper spillaway. Wasn't that cool? Yeah, that was pretty cool. I really want to touch that. That looks... And if you have been watching our channel for a very long time, we have an obsession with touching water. I don't know what it is. Mikey started it. I'm kind of going with it. So, it's really satisfying actually to just watch this thing. I'm gonna struggle to, to not bring up laminar flow again, everyone. We've gotten a few comments, people made fun of me for bringing up laminar flow. If you don't know what laminar flow is, Google it. But it looks a lot like this. And if you wanna top it off, they also have jets for the spa. And there you have it. Now that we're done with the backyard, let's go check out the basement. Now we are on the basement level and this basement is so spacious. I mean, what do you think, Mikey? It's pretty huge. You got a nice bar over here and you have uh, pretty much a whole screening room. Yeah, I mean, your secondary living room area, screening area, entertainment, you name it. The space is so big, it can accommodate a lot of things. And most basements are known for their low ceilings or kind of feeling tight. Not this one. This one actually feels very spacious, a lot of recessed lights. And it also has high ceilings, which makes it even better. Yeah, and look what we got here. We got a little shuffleboard table. Yeah, we do. You know how, you know how to play? Uh, not really. Basically, what you want to do is you want to see how close you can throw that puck to this edge over here. Gotcha. So it lands here, you get three points. It lands here, you get two points. If it lands in between one and that line, you get one point. Mikey, why don't you start? Well, because I have a camera in my hand. Let's see what you got. <laughs> okay.
pretty good right there. Pretty good. Yeah. Now, Mikey goes. Full, full time realtor, part time shuffleboard guy. I'm trash. Heck of a game. Well, thank you. I did my best and it worked out. So, right underneath the stairs, they did a little bit of a sitting and play area. I kind of like it. A little poker, poker table. And Mikey, what did we talk about us? Ooh, we have that little skylight that we saw by the outdoor table. Exactly, so that is bringing natural light to the center of the room. And this quartzite countertop, I mean, it's almost like a secondary kitchen here. The only thing it's missing is a uh, cooktop. Honestly, if I lived in this house, I would spend a lot of time here because you have the space, you have cabinetry here, you have a little fridge right here, wine fridge right here, you have everything you need. So. As we walk onto this hallway, I'm gonna go to the lift because we have a nice, good size half bathroom right here. We have a floating vanity right here. I actually really like the green color. Yeah, this use. is like one of my favorite colors. Really? It's really cool. It feels very uh, cozy and homey. And we have one bedroom here. And the reason I say bedroom is because it has an outside access. In case something happens, you need to get out simply push the window up and you have a ladder that takes you up to the patio space. This bedroom also has its own bathroom, floating vanity. Mikey, I want you to come here because, first of all, I like barn door uh, shower glass doors. Whoa. It's really cool. Second of all, I love this tile because this is a subway tile, but that, there's a twist to it that has a glaze finish, old school glaze finish. It looks like, it looks like, uh... What's it called? Clay, right? Yeah, this reminds me in a weird way Soho. Like a lot of brick cast iron buildings have these glazed finished tiles, even though they're fully updated inside. So Soho, this, Soho, like yeah, New York, New York, yeah. Okay. So I really like this design. I thought this was a really cool touch. I kind of think of Soho as, as kind of subway tiles. Well, they are, but. Soho is a little bit more expensive these days, and now they're getting better subway tiles. I don't know, I guess I'm not, I'm just not a Soho guy. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, back into the hallway. We have a nice little utility room right here, which has, you know, more cabinetry, wash and dryer. Right underneath us are the sump pumps for the basement. So what do those do? They collect all the water that gets to the basement from rains and landscaping and all that, and they push it back to the street so your basement doesn't flood. Like a bilge pump. Now, we have another bed, we have another room here. It's not a bedroom. It has no windows, but it sure can work as a bedroom or an office or anything you really want. A kid in me wants to make this a gaming room, but a uh, kid in me doesn't exist anymore, so it's a room. What are you, what are you doing in here? Oh. I was just uh, playing some tunes. Will man. you sing me one of your Turkish songs? No, I suck at singing. But while I'm playing this, if you guys are liking this video so far, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions, drop us a comment. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you can see more of these mansions. Now we're pretty much done with the basement level. Let's go upstairs and take a look at the bedrooms. second level. So we have a bedroom right here facing towards the front of the property and actually if you guys remember there was these grills on the windows from the outside that actually brings a lot of privacy to these bedrooms. And of course this bedroom also has its own bathroom. Mikey why don't you come over here. Floating vanity, your toilet, your walk-in shower and your rain head. Everything you need. And as we get out, more glass details right there. Your built-in cabinetry. And I'm gonna say this, I'm not so much of a fan of the handles that they put on the outside of the cabinetry. I like handles that are like this, that are recessed in as a part of the door. I think they're sleeker and much more of a clean look. All right, Mikey, before we go to the other bedroom, I wanna show one more detail. So modern homes are all about the finishes. What I mean by that is, when you look at the molding details like this, there's a couple ways you can go, but a lot of modern homes either have a gap from the floor to the drywall or they're flushed all the way like this with no molding. 
You're not a big fan of molding, right? I'm not a big fan of molding. I think it just makes the space feel more busy. Unless it's more of a Cape Cod or architectural home, then sure. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to point out that in this house, they went with this direction. Now, the second bedroom. This actually gets a little bit more light. It also clears the neighbor right next door, meaning they're not really looking into this room. That's the other reason why it's getting a lot of natural light. Same grill designs on the outside of the windows are also on this property. It's actually a perfect duplicate. They have that window over there as well, like the other one. Mm -hmm. Your cabinetry is right behind you. Also, this bedroom has its own bathroom. Same, pretty much a duplicate of the other bedroom. Same finishes, floating vanity. Checks all the boxes. Yeah. And I gotta ask you, do you see this, this photo here on the wall? You know who that is? I don't. That is the man right there. That's Michael Fassbender. He's one of the best actors in Hollywood right now. Fassbender? Fassbender. I wish my last name was that. I like that last name. Now we're back on the hallway on the second floor. More, look, more of those grill designs to bring more privacy. And Master is actually a little bit more elevated comparing to the other two bedrooms. Kind of on the on its own wing on this side. And voila. Oh wow, nice balcony. Nice balcony, huge room. Your fleet with doors this is really a good space for a couple of reasons. Number one, where they position the bedroom, this is the most private room within the entire property. Hardly any neighbors are looking in. Considering we're in West Hollywood and West Hollywood is tightly packed, privacy is everything, especially in your master. A lot of natural light. We could have easily not had the lights turned on and everything would be fine. It's a really gracious room. It's huge size king, yeah, king size bed right here. Your recessed lights everywhere, AC diffusers, built in speakers. You know, it's a really good quality space. So I, I, as we go, as we tour these properties all around LA, why do they have these AC vents like this? In Texas, they have these regular AC vents. What is, what is the reasoning behind these, these slits? Because they're fancier. Uh, many reasons. The, the ones that they're using in Texas, the regular ones, they just don't blend in with the modern design feature. Number two, when you have high ceilings like this, they tend to use more narrow duct lines. And for that to bring enough air, you end up putting bigger diffusers. So you need a larger, a larger surface area actually. Or to get the air out. Yeah. Exactly. So there's a couple of reasons, but they also look a little bit sleeker. That's really the bottom line. Now, this bedroom has a really cool closet. And I love this closet. Why? These systems that where you can change the shelving because they're on the track system right here, these are my favorite. You don't have to be stuck with what developer has already put here. You can change it however you want. It looks clean. I don't like to leave drywall in the back. The fact that it's paneled nicely and it's really a good quality of space. You have your hangers, you have your drawers, you have your floating. I like the little LED touches. Everything. This, this looks like a really nice hotel room, you know? Now to the bathroom. So, bathroom is right next to the closet. It's spacious here. Actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it's pretty good size. I'm gonna start with the vanities. Not only they're floating, but this is a good touch in my opinion. You have two vanities right here, and there's a makeup area. Probably appropriate thing would be here to do a, put a mirror right here, the mirror that you will like for your makeup area. Nice little window detail on top, bring more natural light, but it's private, no one can look inside. A good size, good size freestanding tub here. And I like these things. Your speakers are here as well, in case you're one of those people who likes to shower and listen to music at the same time. Your walk-in shower. With a nice little window right there. And a huge rain head. Yeah. And we have a toilet setup right here. And in case you're wondering, while you're on the toilet, you actually can peek at Hollywood Hills. <laughs> Dude, it's kind of cool actually. <laughs> and the tile that they use on the first floor, half bathroom, it's actually on the floors right here. It's hangbone designed with, you know, a couple shades of marble. This is one of my favorite flooring. Uh, it's pretty much timeless. And it was sophisticated 20 years ago. It's still good now. Back to the massive bedroom. Let me open these Fleetwood doors. So, you can expand your master bedroom area, get a little patio space. Now, how amazing is this? It's actually a really generous space here. It's quite private. Again, in West Hollywood, that's probably one of the hardest things to establish because lots are really tight. And 
they have this frosted glass railing here in case you want to lay down here do a sunbathing you're private no one can honestly see inside of the balcony here right here and we have a nice little overlook of the pool exactly and now that we're on this level you can kind of see some of the finishing details on the exterior of this property so they have these aluminum slits right here where they finish up the stucco that's the kind of the break up the space and also in the world of construction they call that an expansion joint that allows stucco to expand and contract so that so that stucco doesn't really crack a lot and that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope everybody enjoyed it as always if you have any questions drop us a comment and you'll get a response from me and if you enjoy our content make sure to subscribe to our channel and if you really really enjoy the content y'all should check out ns on instagram at nsl mazra la trey on instagram at trey has pride and, and me on instagram at airs world We'll be posting more content every Tuesday on our Instagram, on our story of us touring these mansions around the hills. Me, Ennis, and Trey, if you'll come with us, Trey? Yeah, I'll be there. You'll be there? So, be there or be square. That's right. And we'll see you guys next Monday. So it seems like this kind of operates as the <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> 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 I checked all the stuff. <laughs> Alright, stand at the top of the table. No, it's okay. I'm just gonna stay right here. Tuck your light. I love chill like this. <laughs> well, the book for two is covered. <laughs> yeah. What are you reading there? I was just looking at a lamb curry recipe. So, while I'm trying to figure this out and cook it for myself tonight, make sure to like our content. Drop us a comment if you have any questions and if you enjoy our videos. Make sure to subscribe so you can see more of these mansions. I like how the staging company was like, hmm, let's put a cookbook down in the office. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing to read downstairs. Or we can simply have a pizza party. And it was sophisticated 20 years ago. It's still good now. Kind of like, like it. Kind of like me. <laughs> Dude, we have bloopers for this.